Ugh, don't ask. Nora, don't ask, because nobody knows who to vote for. Listen, if screaming Lord Such was standing, I'd vote for him because he's saner than this lot. Of course we were all Labour. Everybody voted Labour. I've voted Labour all my life. You know what my late husband said? If you're Jewish, they gave you your Labour Party badge the day after your circumcision. They gave with one hand, they took with the other. But this lot, this lot's not Labour. They're not socialists. You know what they are, Nora? They're extremists. That's what my Melvin says. And he's not often wrong. And then there's the throwing around of the millions of pounds. Where's he going to get that from? And the fact that he's going to tax us on the meagre savings we've got for our grandchildren. Yeah, all that. The straw that's broken my back is the broadband. He wants to get his allotment hands on my broadband. It's taken me ten years, Nora, to learn how to Skype my grandchildren. I can do the shopping online, the dry goods. I can do the banking online so I don't have to walk four miles to a bank that's not even there. And he wants to take away and run it a man who thinks you get out of Brexit with a revolving door. If he could nationalise daffodils, he would. And the anti-Semitism. Who would have believed that? The bullying, the hectoring, the driving out of good Jewish MPs, the sitting down with people he shouldn't sit down with. My mother always said, this is a kind and a decent country. They will always do the decent thing. Well, if that's the case, why would anybody vote for this Labour Party? Well, I certainly wouldn't. You can do what you like. You want to vote green? Vote green. It's a waste of a vote.